Hey everyone, we are playing a Jasmine Nurserine, and this is a Panchatantra build with Gingerbread Faust, Game Day, Power Nap, and a bunch of other jankets for fun against Jinteki Personal Evolution. I think we keep this hand. I don't know what they're up to. Probably some traps, and uh, yeah. So we might not get to show off this deck as much as I'd like to. Um, we're, try we're playing out Sad Yojata, or what I like to call Sad Yoda, and we're going to try that with some Panchatantra gingerbread. We should have... Um, oh, it's okay. <laughs> all good so probably just playing a stockish list yeah we got some beanstalk royalties in the jinteki deck okay so that's interesting um so maybe we will get to show off the deck a little bit okay cool so let us i don't want to do this just yet let's draw game day uh let's draw again Gamble and daily cast. We're just gonna set up. Jessminder needs more money than Kate because she's not Kate, and Kate is the best. So the big strength of this deck is that it basically draws its entire the entire deck with game day. Um, it plays Chronotype, and it plays Beach Party, and it actually plays the. Um, uh, the shaper resource that lets genetics trigger twice a turn. Um, I can't remember what the card's called, but I can look it up really fast. Uh, it's called Gene Conditioning Shoppy Shop. Uh, yeah, so here's Sad Yojata. We're playing that card. Our Breaker Suite is awesome. It's literally just three cards. It's Gingerbread Faust and Sad Yojata. So, all right, so what are we doing here? Um... I think we want to get this on the table, right? Let's get these on the table. Um, and let's draw. I don't really want to run right yet. Um, let's draw again. Don't know what's going on here. It's a single remote, maybe just testing the waters, maybe trying to score. And what is this? Be some weird upgrade. So the weird thing is, like sometimes when you play these uh, kind of um, janky decks, you really don't know what to expect. So we're just gonna play a little slow, see what's going on. So this is probably nothing. Maybe a snare. We don't want to really run into. Oh, maybe not. Interesting. Huh. Well, we can only use the Pontra once per turn, but we can turn it into a tracer which is sweet, and break basically anything. Let's see, draw, install. We have two levies in the deck. We have a ton of cash, though. What is going on here? Huh. Um... I don't really know. Uh, let's gain some money. And I guess we'll gain some more? Alright. Just take our time. I have no idea what's going on. We're going to poke next turn. Uh, hmm. Oh, what? Interesting. Okay. Uh, what is that? Single advanced thing. So, credit, credit, advance did...
Okay, no, I see. All right, let's draw. Let's run HQ. Hokusai, yep, that's fine. Let's kill the grid. Let's see card, chum. Okay. That's the kind of game it's going to be. Um, hmm. We could poke again. I think we should poke again. Overrider. Okay, so it's a, some sort of Cambridge style PE. And so what is that? Just a June bug? Don't really want to run last click, so we'll draw. Install advance. Huh. All right. So what's the play here? Let's check HQ again. Uh, yeah, let's check HQ. Okay. We see neural EMP. Okay. Uh, let's draw RDI. Let's get this self mod down and is it for the run? This run. Let's see. And let's draw again. Okay. So now we can do it twice. Interesting. I have no idea what's going on here. We're going to keep hammering HQ, I guess. Because um, why not? Okay. Probably see another neural. Shum. Let's go HQ again. Neural. Okay. Let's draw. That's actually going to be pretty sweet because Kamainu won't fire anymore, so it's good to know. So, could be a Ronin. Um, most likely it's a June bug or an overrider. Might check that. Hmm. Let's draw once and let's makers. And the reason I'm going to do this is. Uh, we have some uh, defense against it. We have, uh, like, say we hit a, a snare. Uh, wait, oops. Uh, let me go get. Where's that? Code 
gate. Let's go get the other poncha. Ice wall, okay. Okay. Pop up window. Scorched earth. False lead, we'll steal that. This is our game day boo. Um, and we'll credit, credit. Okay, hmm. let's fire this guy off. It's pretty good. Um, hmm. Yeah, we can beach party, I think is fine. Your hand size is 10. So I could even drop this or Gain two and get ready to do this. Um, yeah, that's gain two. Okay, so a bit of a slow game. Um, gingerbread's not super efficient against Chum. Cost four to break, though. It's not terrible. Oh, it just cost three. It just cost three? That's not bad. So this costs four to get through. Okay, so another server with something happening. Uh, sure, so I have three clicks. Let's fire off diesel. You can just lucky find? Yeah, it's just lucky find. Eventually, we'll find our chronotype. We do have our Maya, though. That's nice. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Let us fire off quality time. Uh, okay. It's money money. Ten cards. <clears throat> Future perfect? Fetal, okay. Huh. Chronotype? No. Um, hmm. I mean, let's just Maker's Eye here. No for Hokusai. Chum. No for Hokusai. Okay, interesting. Uh, hmm. 
I guess we can beach party again. And then draw our whole deck. If that's what we want to do. Yeah, let's beach party. Alright, so our hand size is 15. No. It's 10 plus... Yeah, 5. Yeah, it's 15. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit silly. Okay. So, let's see. Let's just draw it. Nice. Okay. So now we've got our chronotype. We've got money. Uh, did we find our conditioning? Yep, we did find that. So we can actually... Getting both out will now mean we'll, we won't lose any clicks anymore. Yay! It's kind of nice. Alright, so we're getting some money. Let's throw this down. Let's throw this down. And we will be done. House of Knives? Brain Trust. Ooh, okay. It's fine. Lose RDI, that doesn't matter. Tempted to go check this, but. So we get all our clicks. Uh, so we can power nap. Let's power nap. Hmm. That was pretty amazing. Gain eight. All right. So we can run HQ or we can run R and D and take a net. Um. There's two, three unknowns. I think we want to check HQ. Yeah, let's check HQ. Um, okay. The big, the worst thing to hit right now is a psychic field. That's something we do not want. So, do we have our same old? We've lost our same old, so we can't hit a psychic field. Hmm. Could be a problem. Check archives. See if there's a Jackson on the table. Nothing. Okay. Huh. You know, I don't think that's a bluff. I think he's actually trying to score. So we're gonna check this. If it is a psychic field, he gets us pretty good. Um I don't know what this is, though. The question is, is he going to res anything? Chum. Um. Let's toss Poncha. Let's break with Maya. No, big beach party. Okay. So two credits. So we can play the side game pretty reasonably. False lead. Nice. All right. So we're gonna actually lay down the film critic.
Hmm. Okay. Just do this again. Sad Yoda. We can legwork here. How, how good is that? It's not that good. It's okay. Maybe we should legwork. He's been drawing a lot of cards. He's like four credits. Um, so you can trigger one, uh, one snare. Yeah, that's okay. Let's let's leg work this. So he's probably got a, a snare in hand. He's probably got an agenda in there too. Uh, by this by this point. Neural, Enigma, Scorch. No. Hmm. Let's throw Maya down. Or do we just want a levy? It's actually just levy. Okay. And it's diesel. Okay, so it is Gila hands. Okay. Cry wreck. We will take that. Brain trust. Okay. So, uh, yeah, all right. So this is an old deck that's still playing Pryrex. Um, that's, I think it's just best to play food now. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, good game to our opponent. Um, yeah, so interesting. Still kind of old school. Uh, I don't know about this thing. Interesting deck. Interesting deck. Uh, feels like it doesn't have enough draw for some reason. Maybe it's going to benefit from Patron. Um, I could see it benefiting from patrons, so maybe that's something that could happen in the near future. But, alright, thanks for watching, everybody. We will uh, see you next time.